Hey guys, so today I wanted to go through a few of the mods I've made uh, in recent times to my little 420 Renegade. Um, some of them are adaptions on what I've done before. Some of those mods you might have seen are still there. Others I've changed or added on an entire new piece, piece of the puzzle. So uh, I'm going to go around a bit, bit of a tour of the boat real quick. So if you haven't seen the previous videos, maybe have a look. I'll put a link to the description below. But otherwise, hope you enjoy. Cheers. So one of the obvious changes, um, if you know my boat, I've recently changed the electronics, so the Hummingbirds on the dash, and now a Helix 12 Gen 3 and a Helix 10 Gen 3 up the front as well. They're linked via Ethernet. They're awesome, can't fault them, can't recommend them enough. They work really well even offshore. Side scanning bombies in 120 feet, I don't know what more you could possibly want. Uh, I've also changed the nav lights, the original ones faulted, so I've now got stainless steel much better ones uh, that don't rely on <laughs> water ingress directly straight to the uh, incandescent bulb, so this way they're LED, a bit, bit, bit nicer, a bit more sealed. Previously I had a rod holder here, I've now just upgraded it with a little bit of a lanyard that just pops out of the road, so I can actually strap that across the rods on the way to the ramp or when travelling, just to keep the police happy. Um, Esky was always here, but I've now got tie down points for on both sides. Um, so this is a 420 Renegade, that's a 70 litre Techni Ice Esky fits between the console and the front deck, lovely. Um, I've just spaced it out, kind of you'll see that down the bottom with some rubber stoppers so that it never impedes on the rod holders that are also on the front of the deck. If I slide that out of the road, you get a full picture. Um, they're just, I think, $15 Anaconda ones, maybe from Big W, can't recall. They work really well. They're on the bit of timber that I enclosed the console with, so. That works great. Um, you can also see under, under gunnel lighting there, nothing fancy, but it is glued up out of the road completely underneath the gunnel. It's on both sides and controllable from under the dash with the dimmer switch as well. Most recent mod is my fishing rod down the side, fishing rod rack that I've recently finished. It's always been there, I've just tweaked it a little bit recently. Holds plenty of rods, all the reels go under the front deck in dry bags, um, apart from one or two or three that I might have ready to go on the, the vertical mounts at the front. Other recent addition, lean pads along, well definitely along the port side and also on the starboard side uh, near the driver's helm. So that's just Clark rubber job. I went and got some of the right rubber that's not going to corrode under the salt and double sided taped it in place with the proper good double sided tape. So far so good. It's held up for several trips now. It's probably two months old. I uh, love it. Makes a massive difference fishing out the side of the boat. If you want more detail on these rod holders, send me a message, but that's basically how they work. They clip in, the rod lifts out. Same here, this is a bit of a different arrangement. This is basically just a different style, but that's just at the rod tip end. Down the other end is the same multiple clips. I can fit like six or eight different rods here. Some of them can go head to toe to fit even more. Um, under the console, I've shown this before in previous videos, but for those who haven't seen, so I have my Switches that I ran in myself, I rewired this whole boat myself, I should mention. The bait pump, all the regular switches plus a few additions are here, uh, including the radio and 12 volt sockets and USBs down here. They're all individually switched and powered and fused. And a tray, super cheap auto special underneath here for my, I guess, terminal tackle. Don't go in there too often, I usually fish jigs and plastics and things, but that's where I've got all my hooks and sinkers. The sinkers are in this one on the side. So down the back corner, I've shown this in the previous video, one of the first things I ever did was put a hinge on this compartment. I've also since put just a temporary rod holder here because I often find offshore I'm just putting a rod down for a moment. I'll, I'll leverage it out the back of the boat, wedge it in here. Probably a bit of a lazy approach, but sometimes you've got to get the rod away because someone else has got a big fish on or whatever the case might be. Under here, that's where I store my emergency equipment, pie warmer, which probably is also emergency equipment, um, extinguisher, and the connection to charge the rear battery, but also run the uh, pie warmer when I need to, so it clicks into that Anderson plug. Again, wired all that myself. The circuits are all in here. Uh, all covered in uh, marine grease, of course, keep corrosion away, but I'm really happy I wired it myself. I know where everything runs, I know where everything connects to, and I know how to fix it on the fly, which is great if you're offshore. The other biggest change since probably the last video is the bait board. So I made some changes to it. Made it taller, um, but largely still retained the ability to turn it into a seating position. So uh, you can see this tackle storage underneath that I've just recently put in a bar to stop it from falling out the front. 
but these undo, they're just rubber um, bungees. The whole top deck lifts off, it leaves this permanent or semi-permanent timber step. And I've then got a cushion that I made up that then replaces the same clip in places so a third person can sit in the middle. Um, or I can still stand on it as well, it's structural if I took the bait board off and was fishing up the river. Um, recapping on the other side, I extended these compartments and made them bigger so I can actually fit uh, 25 litres worth of fuel in 5 litre jerrys underneath that compartment. All it took was moving the bait, board, bait tank back a little bit. Beyond that it's the same bait tank that comes standard, just with a different pump, uh, upgraded the pump. We've got a cup holders of course on the side of the bait board. I should mention that that whole entire bait board still hinges off the original lift up compartment that came with the boat. I can still get under there, I have some storage there that I don't need to get to all that often. And the biggest change, most recent change, is the hydraulic steering upgrade. So the, well after 500 hours, three years old, the cable steering started to play up so I went straight for the high drive. Um, my god, it's a new world. Installed it myself, it wasn't that hard, a few tools I needed to get but other than that, again I know how it all works, can fix it if I need to, if something goes wrong. And it's just a whole other boat with that installed. And the other addition, I've got dual tanks under the front which was shown in previous videos. I've since put a fuel tap in place so I've got the option to flick between tank A and tank B. Just got a bit sick of getting under the front deck every now and again to check fuel or switch over. Uh, next mod probably will be an underfloor tank but for now I'm quite happy with this arrangement. I regularly do 180k round trips, uh, you know, Fraser Island and the like and just have 50 under the front and about 40 stashed elsewhere on the boat and that gets me sorted, no worries at all. But the tap definitely has made a difference. Up on the nose of course too I've got bungee cords that I set up um, using the existing mount points for the actual anchor well. I rarely ever have my anchor in there, it's actually my Saka anchors under the front deck on the other side from the, uh, the fuel tap. Um, this just helps with any extra storage but mainly I actually use it as a kill tank strap the fish in, wrap it around his tail, he bleeds out through the drain and off it goes. So it's a good place to do that before you throw him in the esky. I think that's about it guys. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, any questions, add them as a comment and I'll get back to you. Cheers.